We discovered a new virus. So what? It's dangerous. It's only a flu. Wear a mask. Don't wear a mask. Mockery. It's just part of the latest message Chinese state media is spreading online to paint themselves as the heroes and accuse the U.S. of spreading COVID-19. There's now a new outbreak in the city of Harbin. 11 million people are on partial lockdown. And the state's message? Patient zero came from the U.S. Sound familiar? Remember, during the Wuhan outbreak, some Chinese officials spread the conspiracy that this American woman was the source of the virus after she traveled to the World Military Games in Wuhan. It was quickly shot down, but Chinese diplomats still push the narrative. Vanessa Moulter has been researching the Chinese campaign. The narrative is that, you know, China is not at fault for the coronavirus, that China is helping the world, that um, the Chinese government has done a great job at their response and instead shift blame completely to the United States. And from the other side of the world, Donald Trump has launched his own version of the blame game. This week, he floated the opposite conspiracy. Maybe China spread the virus intentionally. And they could have contained it. They were either unable to or they chose not to. And now Republican ads are flooding Facebook, saying things like China lied. And what else is China hiding? Many using it as a fundraising tool. And it's reached thousands of Americans. It is just a huge waste of time, to be blunt. Senior scientists like Keiji Fukuda are caught in the middle. I asked him why this matters. It matters hugely. Uh, You know, we're all wanting this to end as quickly as possible. And the degree to which uh, this kind of politicization gets in the way, it really hurts people around the world. So if you could speak to the leaders of China and the U.S. as a scientist, what would you say to them? Uh, Make our jobs easier and let us get on with saying what we need to say, doing what we need to do. But it's unlikely the two leaders are listening and will continue to point fingers at each other at least until November's presidential election. Wendy Mesley, CBC News, Toronto.